Give him the forecast. Omega level threat detected. Ancient sands, heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, I humbly ask that you tap that notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at YB Speaks. And if you would like to donate to the platform in a monetary way, please feel free to do so. A bitch is not gonna stop you. <laughs> okay, girl. Cash tag YB Speaks 19. Girl, it's Monday, and I guess it wouldn't be the start of the week if you haven't laid a bitch out to pasture, honey. Girl, I had to read down for professional filth this morning. So I'm not going to make this long at all, girl. We're just going to... Huh. If you've been following me, you know that I've kind of like briefly ranted and raved, girl, about my nephew's college, more specifically the financial aid department and the, girl, just a misinformation, um, loss of information, girl, just the back, the forth, the, the, the this, the that, girl, <laughs> the this and that, shout out to Chef Messy, girl, and, and that sawdust seasoning girl, he's trying to sell the kids, honey. This and that girl, just every, just making things more difficult than they really need to be. Because I'm following the guidelines of all the documentation that's needed, required, and desired to make this process as seamless as possible. So now, mind you, I've been dealing with this since February, but really April. February was when the original financial aid application was submitted. April was around the time where, because we have an extenuating circumstance, again, we're not going to get into all the, the details of it. Um, so I kind of already knew ahead of time that there was going to be certain documentation that I was going to need. I already had all of that prepped and ready to go. So handled it. Based on misinformation, misleading information, based on lack of communication, based on just a it's their fault basically i did everything the right way they did everything the wrong way and this is why i feel like they need to have like one person assigned to your case i know that would be a lot for that person to deal with but like when i'm talking to three and four different so-called specialists and directors and i'm getting information that's different across the board that's a problem the fact that nobody's on the same page First, you have all my documents, then you misplace my documents, literally attached our documents to another student number, couldn't find them. Then when we supposedly have all of this stuff figured out, right? Because classes start today, yeah, for the summer B session, classes start today. <laughs> then for y'all to say, okay, everything looks good, we're just waiting on the approval. Luckily, I've been I've been checking the portal, no updates, no updates. So I was like, you know what, let me call. They told me to wait. They put a financial aid hold on his account up until the third of this month so they can do their approval process. All right, cool, the lady said, just wait. That didn't sit right with me. Let me call today, woke up early this morning, did my little shit. Oh, we need some more documentation. But don't worry, it's very simple. Girl, this whole process has been nothing but beyond complex. And I feel like I'm dealing with a bunch of retards. If I can just tell the truth. Y'all work. Y'all are specialists and directors, girl. Like, why, why are we spacing out like this? Why are we having all of this misinformation? And why am I, why did it take me to have to call y'all? I would have still been waiting around like a fool. And then she tries to convince me that, oh, you know, this is very complex. People think that it's easy. I said, girl, it, it should be. This should be the easiest process ever because you have a guideline. 
All you have to do is check to see, hey, does this documentation match this guideline? If it does, check, check, check. If you need more information, then you reach out to the person. You reach out to the person and say, hey, because that's what y'all job is, right? We need further documentation. We need more detailed documentation. But y'all told me, a director told me, you checked my, do double checked my documents to make sure it met the criteria. It met said criteria. Now you're just waiting on the final approval process. Bitch. Don't worry, he can still start classes today. We'll put an additional hold on his account until, you know, girl, the f again, been battling with this for months now. Girl. So that's where, girl, this is. Anyway, girl, I'm just moving on from that because I was just so irritated and I had to lay her out the pasture, girl. Like I've been, I've been shucked and jived, girl, you know, for months now on something that is very basic. So I'm going to be, I'm going to take this complaint further because I just think that it's ridiculous. And I just think that someone needs to be held accountable. I'm just trying to get my nephew into school, y'all. <laughs> Paid for. I think the Pell Grants only go up to like damn near eight grand. Girl, what y'all tripping for? I know he's going to automatically qualify because of the extenuating circumstance that we have. And you know what's crazy is the two additional documents are something that I've already sent them. And I had to go over with this lady and say, oh, well, the wording. Oh, well, you need to put this. Girl, it's there. Use your fucking brain, girl. Anyway, girl, I'm just, I'm I told y'all, this is the year that I'm really not trying. I'm trying my best not to have to decipher foolishness. I'm really at the point now where I know that we are surrounded by zanies and fools and idiocy, girl, and people that just don't use their brain anymore. And common sense has truly left the fucking building, girl. Like, seriously, I'm over it. There are times in my life where I have, you know, dumb blonde moments, but girl, not full on retardation. Girl, please. Um, hopefully y'all had a good weekend, girl. I had a really good weekend. I was just, and to me, a really good weekend is just being able to rest, unwind, you know, like, whew, girl, get, get the stress off your shoulder, the pressure off your shoulders, girl. You know, that's what I was able to do. Um, my nephew had a camp at, uh the school that he will be attending. So he was gone all day Saturday um, and most of Sunday because he spent the night at his homeboy's house. Um, they're going to the school together, Ooh, which makes me feel so much better. Thank God. Um, but my nephew, he won't be leaving until August. So he has two online classes um, that start today. So he'll be you know, handling that. Um, so I'm going to I need to get my shit together because I want to um, throw him a going away party. Ooh, I know I'm going to be a bag of tears, child. People keep asking me, how are you going to, girl, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know how. You know, when he was gone, and if you're watching this video, Elijah, I love you to death, I love you to death, but I have to tell this. When he was gone, right? Because now, mind you, that's some distance from where we live. And I'm just like, check in with me here and there. You know, I just want to make sure you're safe. I'm not trying to bother you like that. Trust me, because I, I need my little time, too. You feel me? Um, but I'm just... I just, I know that I turned into like some, a weird ass parent, a helicopter parent or whatever you want to call it. I allow breathing room. I give a, a much needed space. Hello God. I respect that fact, but 
if you're an answer in that phone, it's been some hours. I'm gonna worry, bitch. Okay, period. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to worrying. And uh so we kind of got into it a little bit, but not we didn't get into it, but he understood. And uh, you know, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, why are you always worried? Because the world is filled with fools. I'm sorry, girl. I'm just one of those overprotective ass kind of like parental figures, bitch. I don't play that. <clears throat> and then he was like, what are you going to do when I actually move and I'm in school literally next month? Like, what are you going to... I know that you're in school. Not traveling the highways and byways, child, hello, God. Long distances. You know? I'll know that you're in school. You're playing football. You're in a class, you know? Well, you're in your dorm doing your online class. At least I will know that you're somewhere. But when we're talking about a great distance of driving, girl, I'm sorry, I don't trust these roads. Bitch, I don't trust none of these folks on the road. That's based on experience. So yes, when I'm calling you and texting you, and I take into account, okay, your phone might be on do not disturb because you're trying to sleep. Y'all been up since four or five o'clock in the morning traveling. I get that. But... When I tell, you know what I mean? I need to know. How will I know if you're really safe? Okay, girl. Because, my girl, I, I, be, I get worried and I can't sleep. Even when he out here, girl, he with his friends sometimes. And, you know, he out and doing his thing. I'm cool with that. But in my mind, I know experience tells me. And I know we're not supposed to manifest. I know we're not supposed to think badly. Like, okay. Girl, it's hard not to when you look at the state of the world in your local communities, girl. The kids are literally just going to the gas station to get some motherfucking, you know, whatever they finna get at the gas station, girl, little candies and shit. And then bitches is dying on their way home. So forgive me. I'm, I've always been extra in that regard. You know what I mean? So he understands now that well, we had a nice little talk. And I was like, you gotta understand, like, <laughs> bitch. You're like my child. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I can't. Mm -mm. Ooh, no. And I know the world. See, young people, the difference between young people is you guys that you, you lack the experience. And again, it really shouldn't be this way. It just shows you how fucked the world is and how conditioned we are to believe that it's, it's every day is not a good day. And, you know, some shit. I'm sorry. We've. Look around, girl. You can't trust a good day. You can't trust good shit. We see all the time. You can't even trust your friends. You can't even trust so-called family. So I'm sorry, child. You know, we've I've seen, girl, you be driving down the road. Everything's good. Next thing you know, there's a five-pile car accident, semi-truck, an alien UFO done ran through this bitch, abducted a couple of the kids, girl. Like, I've seen a really normal day turn chaotic as a motherfucker. Girl, you're like, hold on. You're scratching your head like, bitch, what did I just bear witness to? You know? And a lot of times, it's not even because of something that you did. It's just because of all these other weird-ass bitches... You know what I mean? I don't know, girl, but I don't know if I'm going to stand on that hill too long. But sorry, I worry. Sorry, I just want updates on, you know, you're good, you're safe. You know, where the hell you at kind of vibes. That's just how I am. I'm good. If you just update me here and there, I'm good. Ooh, girl, let me tell y'all something real quick. If a nigga, if you about to lay down with a nigga and a nigga tells you, because he's trying to convince you to link up, right? If a nigga tells you that he's going to fuck you all night long, don't believe him. Unless it's me telling you that. <laughs> Hello, God. <laughs> Bitch. Unless it is YB Speaks telling you, because you, you know I'm going to fuck you all night. Hello, God. I stand by that claim. I'm going to fuck you all night. But if some nigga that you have never laid down with before says that he going to fuck you all, let me tell y'all something. Don't believe him. Because let me tell y'all something, girl. Within 15 minutes of serving, giving him some head, girl, real quick, he was done. Girl, and I cussed him the fuck out and get the fuck out, bitch. You promised. 
He was like, well, he didn't try to turn around. It's your fault, that good ass head. Girl, you're supposed to be a man, girl. I've put this, I, and I barely even did anything. So you probably would have came within five minutes, probably earlier than that, girl, if I would have really put it in, put it, put my all into it. I don't start giving my all until I'm really into the tea. And it's going to take longer than 15 minutes because I like to take my time. Girl, please. That man made me so mad. Usually when there's a failure, I have several in the clutch. Hello, God. So I can reclaim my time like Maxine Waters, bitch. Um, but I, he just turned me off so bad. I ain't even try. I girl, I pleasured myself, ordered some damn Wingstop, bitch, and watched me a couple of movies and shows, girl, and went to sleep. Hello. And I'm going to be real. Like, I, I'm not saying I was tired of topping because I haven't topped in a little minute. I, I'm just over men and their raggedy ass energy. I'm just done with that, girl. Like, I haven't really... Mm -mm. Because, girl, as a top, I've had to, like, maneuver a certain way because I've... Girl, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. And this is what I try to tell y'all something, honey. When you have good dick, when you have good sex, it's a gift and a curse. The curse comes in when you got hoes hooked to the point where they start doing crazy shit. And one of the peep girl, I just want to fuck. I'm not looking for no relationship right now. I'm not looking for nothing. And I, and I don't like talkers, girl. That's just how I am. I know that sounds really fucked up, but we know why we're here. These The rules were established before we even met up on that level. I don't want any attachments. And I don't have time for stalkers and crazy people. I just want to fuck, and I want to fuck good. And I want to go about my business. And then if I want to fuck you again... Let me do that too. And then it's like every time I go back to being a bottom real quick, I realize why I don't want to do that shit no more. Y'all niggas ain't worth a fuck out here, bro. I'm telling the truth on that level. Y'all niggas ain't worth a fuck, bro. And if I, I wish I was a little bit more masculine, that way I probably could attract more females on that level. But let's be honest here, ain't no, ain't no female trying to really lay down with a nigga like me on that level. If I was a little bit more masculine presenting, I think that I could, I could pull that off. And I just want to find a woman who's just cool with it. Girl, you know, I do fuck niggas, you know, but I'm tired of them right now. I just, can I fuck on you? Like, I'm getting to that point. I don't even want to be around nigga energy. Let me go, girl. I just can't no more. I really, I'm just really over it, girl. Like, there's no... Uh-uh. There's no there there anymore, girl. Just in terms of sexual quality, the quality of sex is what I care about. The quality. No one possesses... I know people are going to be like, well, those are the people that you fuck with, girl. I... What am I? I've been. I have been doing and who and trying to find the bitch that fits the glass slipper, girl. I've dealt with the rich bottoms. I've dealt with the poor bottoms. Black, white, Spanish, girl. Different walks of life, girl. Different statuses, girl. And it all comes down to be the same shit. Like, where, when am I gonna find my equal, girl? When am I gonna find someone that fits the description? <clears throat> and all these talkers, oh, I'm but we can do this and we can do that, girl. And then we do those things, you tapping out, bitch. When we do those things, you you're not putting forth the personality, the persona, the promises, promises that were made onto thee. Men, whether top, bottom, y'all niggas ain't shit, bro. And I apologize to women for even making it seem like that y'all are a last resort. You're not. You're really not. I'm thinking that's just where it's probably supposed to be for me at the moment. 
or I just need to give up sex altogether because I'm tired of laying down with unworthy ass bitches. And I know this sounds so self-absorbed and narcissistic as fuck to think that I am the last supreme sexual being on the planet, but sometimes it feels that way, girl. I'm not, and if it's a random, I don't care, girl. If it's a one night stand, I don't care. I'm trying to have an experience. I have sex for experience. Experience, bitch. And y'all niggas lack that. And then the ones that got good, good, y'all are crazy as fuck. I don't know, girl. I'm, just, I'm, mm -mm, girl. I'm the last of the Mohicans, girl. That's just what that is. So over it. Girl, just real quick. So, y'all remember a long time ago, I told y'all about the drunk trade that I had been with for a long time. So, we linked back up, I want to say about three or four weeks ago, right? Girl, what I mean, he made these cheeks clappeth, bitch. I said, oh, because, you know, I stopped fucking with him because he was he was drinking too much. And the sex was not sexing, girl. Like, it was not, it was not giving. Girl, when I tell you, when I tell you, honey, daddy reprised himself, girl. Let me, ooh, girl. I was like, oh. Bitch, all right. So this bitch tells me, hey, you know, um, I'm moving to California in about a week or so. I was like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> I want to fuck you a couple more times before I go. Hey, <laughs> that's fine with me. If you can, if you're going to keep. And you know what? I got slick with him, too. I was like, bitch, where was all of that when we was doing it before? He was like, honestly, I don't even know. No, I know where it's at. You done stopped drinking. Now that dick is hard and strong, girl, hello, gone. And you out here performing acts on the doll that weren't performed before. You're doing your thing. And this is what I need, require, and desire. And it sucks that now you want to get your shit together on the sexual tip that you're leaving in a week or two to go to California. But it is what it is. I definitely want to get these cheeks clappeth a couple more times before you depart. Hello, gone girl so we tried to make it happen it just wasn't it wasn't in the cards girl so i was horny as fuck this weekend and i was like maybe he didn't leave because he told me when he was gonna leave you know he never told me so i called him he answered the phone he's like oh i'm in texas right now on my way to california girl what the fuck oh i'm taking greyhound girl greyhound girl I forgot Greyhound was even a thing. Girl, it's 2024. Who the fuck is taking Greyhound, bitch, to go from Florida all the way to California, girl? It's going to take you a million motherfucking years, bitch, to get there. But anyway, girl, it is what it is. So then he, I'm like, all right, cool. It is what it is. Girl, please. I was in my zone feeling myself. I'm calling you for sex, girl. We don't need to have no conversation about now. I'm like, all right, bye. Have a good day. Bye. Safe, safe travels, bitch. <laughs> You know, that's just what I was on, girl. Now I need to find someone else. You feel me? <clears throat> this bitch calls me back and says, hey, um, you got five dollars you can send me? I said, no, nah, baby, I don't. I don't. I told y'all, when it comes to trade and these niggas, I don't do the money thing, girl. I don't care how long we've been fucking around. I don't care. I don't do the money shit. So he was like, oh, okay. So I was like, well, I feel you. I understand you're going through a rough time. You know, he starts yelling. Why the fuck does everybody say that? Girl, I hung up the phone. <laughs> girl, girl, I hugged the phone up, girl. Bitch, I don't want to hear you. I don't, I'm not calling for that, girl. I'm in my zone, bitch. Like, I'm not trying to deal with none of that. I'm looking for dick right now. Don't spoil me, girl, with your fucking bullshit and your personal problems. You're just a piece of dick. So I hung up the phone. And he tried to call me back a couple times. I said, please, just don't even call me back no more. So I, he tried, kept trying to call me. So I was like, girl, let me text him. So I text him as long. I said, first of all, I just called you for some dick. That's the basis of our relationship is sex. I don't have time. Every time 
because he used to do that shit before it used to piss me off woe is me problems 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 girl i'm not that i'm not your therapist bitch i'm not your girl i'm not your nigga like you find someone else to unload that on I, our situation is sexual in nature always has been and you know that's how it should be don't 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 lean on me for a, a shoulder to cry on bitch because i really don't give a fuck especially in that moment girl i was feeling myself girl i'm horny as a motherfucker girl i have a dildo in my ass bitch. <laughs> girl i'm out here ple pleasuring myself you know and you know in that moment you're horny so i'm like man let me call let me call around to some of the old niggas who i used to fuck with to see if they can give me the real thing girl please so i cussed them out and i said who the fuck travels cross country girl with no money that's your irresponsibility you got to take accountability for your bullshit honey don't try to put that on me girl well fuck you then that's what he said girl bye i don't care about all of that i don't care about none of that shit i really don't find someone who gives a fuck because i don't <clears throat> and that was that so <clears throat> and i only, and i know the reason you're going to california too bitch see what happens is, is he be falling in love with these trannies girl excuse me but that's just how we talk down here he be falling in love with these trannies girl he be he did that before moved to california to be with this one bitch and she cheated on his ass and he came back over here trying to talk to me about the problem i don't care about none of that girl i told him that provide you provide dick for me i'm i'm not a therapist girl I'm on my hoe shit right now. And last time I checked hoes, we're not, you You talk to your girlfriend and your boyfriend about stuff like that. You don't talk to your hoe about that kind of stuff because the hoe don't give a fuck. I'm not invested in you like that, bitch. Let's tell the truth. I'm just not, I don't give a fuck. That's just what that is. What the hell are you looking at? Pay attention to your own stuff, honey. Don't pay attention over here. Yeah, girl, I don't give a damn. <clears throat> Y'all are trade, girl. Y'all are sex objects. You know? And I know that the wires probably got crossed because it's been many years since we've been dealing with each other. So, whatever. But honestly, girl, like, he's a little cuckoo anyway, but he got good dick. Well, he, he well, it's, it's better now. Because for a long... I stopped fucking with him. Like I told y'all before, girl. That drunk shit. I ain't got time for all that. And you know, drunk niggas love to talk. Girl, shut the fuck up already. I don't give a damn about anything you talking about. It's really just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm, right. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. So, good riddance. Goodbye. May you be blessed in your future endeavors, girl. You know? I need a relationship now at this point. I don't need one, but it's just like, I really would like to be with like, I don't know. I, I want some kind of like consistent situation. Like I'll think I have a consistent situation and then it just blows up. I have no choice but to cut these weird assholes off. And then like I said too, like I'm constantly reminded every time I want to go back to bottoming, I'm constantly reminded on why I was kind of thrusted into being a top because these niggas ain't shit they ain't shit <clears throat> I don't have time for that if I could just find someone who can please me you know I would like a cool ass dude though like a real cool you know like I wham bam thank you ma'am but still like some cool sh on some cool shit i don't need nothing serious 
just on some cool laid back shit we just doing what we do friends with benefits I can't even find that Then I think I told y'all about the, the little white bottom that I was dealing with for a little minute. He turned crazy. Unloaded all his trauma and drama onto me. Girl, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That was the one I told y'all that skeeted on my chest without my permission, girl. Ooh, that irritated me. I haven't seen him since. He texted me the other day. Girl, I didn't respond. Girl, I'm over it. Yo, energy's messed up. Y'all niggas be doing too much. I'm over it, girl. I'm over it. You can't even find a good fuck buddy these days anymore. Girl, that's just crazy. <sighs> anyway, that's all I got, y'all. Be blessed and never stress. Remember, the health is truly wealth. Enjoy your Monday. Ciao. We'll be back with some more commentary, some more videos this week, girl. Stay tuned. All right, bye.